Hey everyone, welcome back to another Storefront UI tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on how to update and customize your fonts in your Storefront UI project in a Vue or Nuxt application. Uh, we have Adam with us, who's a core member of the Storefront UI team, to walk us through how to do this in code. To begin with, uh, like last time for colors, in here you're probably going to get a Figma file from your designers and it's going to have some typography in it that you're going to want to use to actually import into your, to know what to import into your projects. So if you go into the colors and typography page, you'll see a typography panel. And right here, you can see your two font families that Storefront UI uses and the, and the SFUI variables to assign them to. So here we have Roboto and Railway. And when you get them, you'll have some different names ahead of them. So now we'll hand it off to Adam, who's going to show us how to import uh, different fonts into our view in the Nux project. Take it away. OK, uh, thank you. And let's begin with the code. Let me switch to it. Um, first of all, uh, let's see uh, its uh, default uh, Vue.js project, which I uh, previously uh, um, run. And uh, uh, the only difference is that I added uh, SF heading component, uh, which is one of Storefront UI components uh, responsible for uh, displaying um, uh, short texts uh, in H element. In this case, it's uh, H1 element, which you can see here. And uh, uh, we're gonna uh, change uh, fonts, default fonts that are added uh, to this component. Uh, to add uh, default components, uh, you need to um, uh, copy uh, three elements from our documentation. Uh, that are uh, added here in index HTML uh, um, file, which is placed in a public uh, catalog. Uh, you can see uh, these uh, three elements in our documentation, and uh, let me switch to it. Uh, it's uh, located in uh, installation uh, section. Uh, you can now uh, see that uh, actually it's uh, more uh, code here added, but uh, uh, you, uh, only, you need only to uh, copy these three elements into the uh, head section. Uh, that's uh, uh, why, uh, that's because uh, uh, Google uh, sometimes ago uh, added support for uh, font display uh, property in CSS natively. And uh, uh, you need to remember only to add uh, display uh, property at the end of the link, and uh, everything should uh, work uh, uh, very well uh, without uh, without any uh, issues connected with performance. So uh, let me back uh, go back to the uh, code. Uh, I've already called, uh, copied these three elements here uh, in the head section. And uh, you can see that it's uh, uh, already working because uh, uh, this uh, uh, text is showing uh, like this. And after inspecting uh, it, uh, font family is railway. Uh, in one of uh, main uh, two main uh, fonts uh, uh, in Storefront UI. And now, if you want to uh, change uh, um, this font for uh, your custom fonts, um, you can do it uh, by adding a Google uh, font um, uh, link. And uh, that's why I, uh, what I already did uh, in this code. Let me uncomment it and comment all one. And after save, nothing changed because uh, you need to assign this font to uh, proper uh, CSS uh, variable. This uh, variable is called font family secondary for this component. And after uh, switching it, uh, you can see the font is changing. Uh, let me show you. Actually, it's uh, Bezli uh, font uh, imported from uh, a Google Fonts uh, site. Uh, that's uh, how you can uh, change uh, your fonts in um, Vue.js uh, Vue uh, uh, project. 
Uh, let me switch to uh, Nuxt.js project, which uh, already is prepared like so. Uh, in, in this project, you can see a uh, similarity. Uh, SF heading is uh, added uh, with uh, uh, the same uh, or nearly the same text. And uh, I uh, already configured uh, uh, fonts um, inside Nuxt config.js file. Uh, in order to uh, make it work, you need to add three elements, uh, which you can also find in our uh, documentation. Uh, and uh, there are uh, Google fonts uh, imported uh, in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me move to index uh, view JS uh, when index view uh, file when you uh, um, can implement uh, your uh, fonts. If you want to change uh, the font, uh, you can uh, switch this uh, uh, this import um, link. Let me do it now. In these two places, only we, uh, one thing that is uh, changed is uh, this font uh, here and here. Let me save this. And uh, similarly, like in uh, Vue.js uh, project, uh, you can uh, you shall assign this font this time in a root element, and uh, that's uh, what should be enough to change our component uh, font. There we go. Yes, that's right. Uh, let me show you. It's basically, and uh, I think this is uh, the shortest way to change your fonts in uh, Next.js and Vue.js projects. Uh, in Starfront UI. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, real Thank quick, you. I just wanted to slide in uh, is just, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, which is your secondary variable is the variable for your heading fonts. And so like that's like your brand specific kind of stylish font. And then the font primary is your kind of paragraph font, the stuff that's more legible, easy to read. So in our case, that's Railway and Roboto out of the box. Um, hopefully you found this video informative on how to use Google fonts in your storefront UI project and see you guys in the next video.